Alright, welcome back to the Max for Live DNA. DJ Vic Vapor here with you. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at some additional ways to mangle your audio. So, I'm actually jumping out of the Essentials pack. That's what most of the course has been about. Max for Live Essentials. And we're going to go in and take a look at the Max for Live Plugo for Live. It's actually a pack that you can download at Ableton.com under Max for Live Devices you can find the ML I'm sorry M4L Plugo for Live I think the Cycling 64 group put this out quite a while a few years back and now it's been updated a little bit and added to the uh, Max for Live collection so you can also access it through here but it's a little bit easier to find it in the packs and when you open it up you've got Max Audio Effects, Max Instruments. So let's open that guy up. So we've got a whole collection of instruments here. But for this demo, we're going to take a look at uh, Audio Effects. And let's scroll down, open up the Harmonic Filter, and let's get a little shave and haircut action. Give you an example of what that is. So let me put it on the uh, channel here. going to turn it off for just a second so you can hear the original audio here. Just a really simple drum pattern. Nothing fancy, but let's just mangle it here. So kind of follow along and watch how much fun this guy is to mess with. So a couple cool different things going on here. You can randomize cell update, randomize cell, randomize all. You can actually physically draw it in if you choose. You can turn certain sections on and off down here. But clearly already you can hear, I mean, it doesn't sound anything like the original source we were messing with. Just a great way to mangle up uh, audio sources. So let me turn this down and let's kind of explore something else in this pack. Let's see what a mangle filter does. I haven't really messed around in this area too much, so uh, hop along. too impressive there, I'll be honest with you. Some of these I haven't seen before, or if I have, I haven't spent any time messing with them. A few of them I have, a few of them I haven't, so let's take another look here. Chorus. I'm always messing around with chorus, so let's take a look at this guy. Let's look at some double wide.
I like this little inverted versus uh, parallel. Pretty nice little touch there. You can kind of cross back and forth and force it to go. Basically, uh, it's going to sound like it's going in two different directions. Nothing too impressive on dirty heads. Let's see. Let's just kind of jump down here and see if we get anything going on. That's what I was thinking. Kind of typical flange response. Modification right here. Anyhow, you get the idea for this tutorial that um, the Max for Live Pluggo effects have some really good uh, and distorted type uh, features. Something free and easy to get. Ableton.com, Max for Live Packs. Move on to the next tutorial.